Welcome to the tutorial on bar model drawing for subtraction word problems. If you are new to model drawing, I recommend you first view the basic model drawing videos which can be accessed on the same website where you found this video, at this web address. The videos can be found in the grade level folders for 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th grade. You can find even more bar model problems in the bar model problems folder. Here is a subtraction word problem which we will solve using a part whole model. June had $27 to spend on a trip to the amusement park. If she spent $9 on admission, how much money did she have left for food and games? Since we need to find out how much money June had left for food and games, our sentence statement can be, June had blank dollars left to spend on food and games. When rereading the problem, we identify the important information we need to solve the problem. We can start our model with the unit bar for June's money, which is $27. We are using a part whole model because we have a whole of $27 and we are going to find out what part of that whole is left. We are told that she spent $9 on admission, so we can show that by marking off a piece equivalent to $9 and drawing a line through it to show that we are taking it away from the total. We need to find out how much money she has left, which is this little piece, so that is where our question mark will go. Looking at our model, it's pretty easy to see that if we solve the subtraction problem, $27 minus $9, that is how much money June has left. $27 minus $9 equals $18. June had $18 left to spend on food and games. This is a similar part whole subtraction problem. I'd like you to try this one on your own. Pause the video while you solve it. When you're ready to check your answer, start the video again. Did you remember to write a sentence statement? Did you identify the important information? Does your model look similar to mine? Did you follow the same process, or did you approach it another way? Did you find that Trevor had 94 action figures left? Please understand that your model doesn't have to look like my model for it to be correct. As long as you understand your model, you can explain your thinking, and it gets you to the correct answer, that is what is important. Some students might not need or want to use a bar model, and that is okay too. If they understand the problem enough to go straight to the algorithm, then they should absolutely do that. It is quicker and ultimately this is where we are taking them, towards abstract thinking. If you'll recall, Singapore math goes from the concrete to the pictorial, and then finally to the abstract. Bar modeling is a pictorial representation. Here is a mixed operation problem for which we will use the comparison model to solve. We call it a comparison model because we are comparing different amounts. Selena and Justin started out with an equal number of fans. Justin lost 15 fans and Selena gained another 45 fans. How many more fans did Selena have in the end? Since we need to find out how many more fans Selena has, our sentence statement can be, Selena had blank more fans than Justin. When rereading the problem, we identify the important information we need to solve the problem. Since we are told that Selena and Justin started out with an equal number of fans, we can show that with equal sized bars. Next, we are told that Justin lost 15 fans. We can show that loss by marking off a piece representing the lost fans and drawing a line through it to indicate that it is a subtraction from the starting amount. This yellow portion represents Justin's remaining fans. Next, we are told that Selena gained another 45 fans, so we can add on to her bar to represent an addition of 45 more fans. The yellow portion represents her abundant fans. Now, since the problem asks us how many more fans Selena has, we need to find out how many fans are in this section. Looking at our bar model, we know this small piece is 15, because that is equal to Justin's piece, which represents his lost fans. Selena did not lose any fans. The total of fans that Selena has, which is more than what Justin has, are the fans in this section. We don't know how many fans are in her remaining yellow piece, but we don't need to know because we are just asked to find out how many more she has than Justin has. Now you can probably see that we need to add 15 plus 45 to find that Selena has 60 more fans than Justin. Now let's look at some multi-step subtraction problems. The track team made 425 candy grams to sell on Friday. 
they sold 75 more candy grams in the morning than they did in the afternoon. If all the candy grams were sold, how many candy grams did the track team sell in the morning? Since we need to find out how many candy grams the track team sold in the morning, our sentence statement can be, the track team sold blank candy grams in the morning. When rereading the problem, we identify the important information we need to solve the problem. I'm going to start the model drawing with two equal sized unifars. One to represent candy grams sold in the morning, and one to represent candy grams sold in the afternoon. Since we are told that they sold 75 more candy grams in the morning than in the afternoon, we can add 75 onto the morning unit bar. We are also told that all 425 candy grams were sold, so we can bracket the two bars and show that they total 425. Since we have to find out how many candy grams were sold in the morning, we can put our question mark here. Okay, now we're ready to let our model drive the math. Since we know that the total candy grams is 425 and 75 more were sold in the morning, let's subtract 75 from 425 to find out how many candy grams are left to be divided up. 425 minus 75 equals 350. That means these remaining two pieces have to total 350. So if we want to find out how many candy grams are in each piece, we will divide 350 by 2 to find that each remaining piece equals 175 candy grams. Now, we're not finished yet. We still need to total up this bar. So 175 plus 75 equals 250. The track team sold 250 candy grams in the morning. Here's a similar multi-step subtraction problem. I'd like you to try this one on your own. Pause the video while you solve it. When you're ready to check your answer, start the video again. Did you remember to write a sentence statement? Did you identify the important information? Does your model look similar to mine? Did you follow the same process or did you approach it another way? Did you find that the Girl Scout troop sold 198 boxes of cookies in the morning? This is our last problem. Brooklyn scored 27 points in the basketball game. That was 12 points more than her friend Sienna scored. How many points did they score all together? Since we need to find out how many points the girls scored all together, our sentence statement can be Brooklyn and Sienna scored blank points all together. When rereading the problem, we identify the important information we need to solve the problem. I can think of at least two different ways to model this problem. You might prefer to do it yet another way. I could start both girls out with equal size bars like this, indicate that Brooklyn scored 27 points, and then cross out 12 from Sienna's bar to represent the 12 points that Brooklyn scored more than her. I can also make Brooklyn's bar longer at the beginning and just indicate that the section that extends beyond Sienna's bar represents 12 points. Honestly, I think this second way may be a little easier to follow. I just want you to know that there's not only one right way to model a problem as long as you understand your model. The bracket and question marks should surround the entire model since we need to find out how many points they scored all together. If you look at the first model, we can also show that this piece of Brooklyn's model represents 12 points. Now we're ready to let our model drive our math. Since we know that Brooklyn scored 27 points and this little piece is 12, we can subtract 12 from 27 to find that the remaining portion of her bar represents 15 points. Let's go ahead and write that in. The 15 and the 12 total up to 27 points scored by Brooklyn. Since Sienna's piece is equal to the first section of Brooklyn's bar, that means that Sienna scored 15 points. Now we're ready to add their points together. 27 plus 15 equals 42. Brooklyn and Sienna scored 42 points altogether. And that, my friends, concludes this tutorial on subtraction word problems with bar model drawing. I hope you will take the time to explore other Singapore math videos. It's just plain good math.